Welcome back to Keenan Stadium. Moments away from North Carolina and Virginia. Doc Walker has joined us back up here in the booth. Big ball game, lots of emotions. You got to keep them under control. Yeah, you do. But Jack, go back to your collegiate days. Like me, you love this kind of game. This is the kind of game you want. This beats practice. It beats spring football because it's a rivalry. When we talk about maintaining emotions, invariably you deal with the guy who controls the show out on the field, and that's the quarterback. For Mike Thomas, right now, he has a chance to erase all the memories of the slow start. Had an excellent ball game against Ohio U last week, but this is a much better football team in the Virginia Cavaliers here this afternoon. For Mike Rowe, it has been a sterling season for the senior. Career best 335 yards a week ago against Wake Forest. He really feels like he has moved up among the elite. Whoever plays better, you hate to put the spotlight on just the two of them, Doc, but really, who's ever more efficient, his team's going to win today. Yeah, and they're both surrounded by great athletes. It just comes down to who's ready for the big game, who executes, and who doesn't gag. Well, it will be a dandy. Ten seconds to go for those guys standing in the tunnel, getting ready to come out for the biggest game of the year. Back here in Chapel Hill, and after some problems earlier in the week with the remnants of the hurricane, it is a very nice day, albeit a very humid day, and perhaps a little too warm for early October, but it should be no problem weather-wise. George Welsh in his 14th season at Virginia, and that has been one of the factors in the continued success of the Cavaliers, the longevity of George Welsh. Mac Brown in his eighth season at North Carolina and trying to climb above break even for 95. Virginia won the toss and elected to defer, so Carolina will be receiving the ball to start it with Marcus Wall, the deepest of a trio, awaiting the kickoff of Rafael Garcia. Chris Watson and Tucker and Greg Williams will be joining Wall as the deep man of the three, and we're underway. And this kick will go out of bounds, giving North Carolina good field position to start the ball game. Last week against Ohio, you the first time this year that Carolina had gotten good field position, and they took advantage of it to score a season high 62 points behind the leadership of senior quarterback Mike Thomas. Thomas over 1,100 yards, as you can see on the season, throwing the football, and they have become, at least because of the defense is taking away the running game, a pass-first offense. Leon Johnson will start the game at tailback. And he gets the call on first down and has running room over the 40 after the 43-yard line before Jamie Sharper brings him down a good gain on first down as we take a look at our Carolina Jeep and Eagles starting lineups. Chris Watson will start at fullback and a receiving core that has started to get comfortable with the idea of catching lots of balls and an offensive line that has made great progress. Byron Thomas and Jeff Saturday having good seasons so far. Second and short for the Tar Heels, the counter play to Johnson. Behind Thomas, he has a Carolina first down near midfield at the 46-yard line. Skeet Jones on the stop. Defensively, John Harrison, Dwayne Ashman key a good defensive front. Jamie Sharper back in the lineup. Ferrier, their leading tackler on the season, averaging nearly 11 tackles a ball game. And a secondary that has picked off a pass in 22 consecutive ball games. Every one of those men with at least an interception this year. First and 10, Carolina. Johnson is going to throw the ball. Downfield, he's got Octavius Barnes at the Virginia 30-yard line. Dropped by Joe Crocker. Mac Brown with a little razzle-dazzle early on. The one way you counter an aggressive defense is to put in a gadget now and then. And when you look at John Harris, who leads the team with four sacks, you got a feeling he's going to be there. So you counter that, and this is a good, pretty good play. The key is the tackle. If you miss a tackle like that, Joe Crocker comes in and does it. It could have taken it all the way to distance. Carolina on the move, a drive that started at their own 35. 
Leon Jackson again. He has touched the ball on every play, and he is stacked up for the first time this afternoon by the center of that Virginia defense, Todd White, number 91, among the group that corralled Johnson after a short game. Skeet Jones, the middle linebacker, is also there. The two tackles, White and A.G. These guys really anchor this Cavalier defense, and that time they gave up nothing. Carolina operating at a much quicker pace here. Out of the huddle and up on the line of scrimmage early on. And Thomas will throw it. Looking downfield for a catch by Chris Watson. And it's another Tar Heel first down. Rondé Barber chopped him down. You do a couple of things. First of all, you want to make sure that Mike's first pass is a completion. So you throw this behind the line. You know, look, go out to your back. And you always have the threat of play action with these guys, but protection is premium. And you watch this nice throw and catch. I mean, this really is. It's a good effort. Not a very difficult catch, but he pulls it in, and then you get to the flag. Only the third catch of the season for Watson. This is Jonathan Linton trying to find the corner. Good pursuit, fumble, but they're going to say he was down. Skeet Jones with the pop. Paul London came up with the football. This man, John Harris, made it happen. And it was one thing to have the ability to get upfield and rush the quarterback. But this guy plays a run well. You see that? He's getting off that block, man. That is playing. That's textbook. And when you string it out, good things happen when you've got defenders that can run. Second and long for Carolina inside the Virginia 20-yard line. Counter play, Linton nowhere. Ran into the blitzing James Ferrier and Todd White, the defensive tackle. I think you're going to be calling those guys those names out a lot today, partner, especially those defensive linemen. Ferrier comes in, all we know is that he leads his team in tackle. He's been there all year long. But look at Todd White. There's a big guy, 270 pounds, and he's in the backfield. Loss of a couple, it'll be third and 12. Carolina fairly efficient on third downs this year. Thomas with time. And a man. Leon Johnson inside the five. Credit Mike Thomas with the patience to stay in the pocket and find Leon Johnson. You sound like a coach, Jack. You call that one part. And watch the eyes. See, he's not telegraphing. He's kind of looking away. That makes the difference. That gets the safeties out of the middle of the field, and it allows Johnson to do his thing, work the gut, and make the play. Good quarterback. First and goal just outside the Virginia two. Watson in motion. Johnson. Five yards in less than four minutes. An impressive beginning for North Carolina's offense. Well, if you're Mac Brown, you know all week long you've been saying, guys, just believe. I've been with you. We got a chance to turn the corner. Look at the big guys up front, rooting them out. They take Angie, put him on skates. You get the good lead block at the point of attack and a back that wants to score. Scott Caparelli on to try the conversion out of the hold of Greg Williams. And North Carolina jumps out on top. Timeout on the field, 11.07 to play in the first period. Leon Johnson powers a 65-yard drive. Well, Grady Pridgen, the vice president of sales for Jefferson Pilot Sports, is watching this one from the hospital during a short stay. And we just wanted to say, Grady, we're thinking about you and wish you a quick recovery. Well, it was a quick march down the field for North Carolina as they go 65 yards to take the early advantage. I think it's really important for Carolina. Should have been one of the keys in terms of confidence that Mike gets a chance to get in there, Mike Thomas, and lead his team to an opening score. Demetrius Allen and Terrence Wilkins awaiting the kickoff of Scott Caparelli. Short kick on the run, fielded by Wilkins, and he's got room out over the 40-yard line. Terrence Wilkins, the redshirt freshman, with an excellent return, and Caparelli, the kicker, along with Sean Lyons, saved a potential touchdown. Boy, that negates that great effort by the offense. Teams, coaches go over this and over this to just get out 
and, and win the battle of field position. Well, number one, short kick, poor kick, great catch and return, and watch the blocks downfield by the Cavaliers. 26 yard return puts it at the Virginia 43 yard line. Counter play on first down for Tiki Barber, and he does not even get back or barely back to the line of scrimmage. Rick Terry with excellent penetration. Take a look at the Virginia offense, our Carolina Jeep and Eagle dealers. Mike Grow will have Daryl Medley and Tiki Barber behind him, a veteran receiving core. Walt Derry is now the starting tight end, a good offensive good line headed up by Augustino and Harris in the tackles. And he had a game a week ago against Wake Dakin. Jason Augustino was a star. Second call it no gain on the first down run by Barber out of the one back set. They get it to Barber out of the flat. He is able to avoid a couple of Carolina defenders. James Hamilton tried to hem him in, but Terry Billups was the man who finally made the stop. Defensively for North Carolina, they will use lots of people up front, headed up, of course, by Marcus Jones, who is having a great season so far, and Greg Ellis playing very well. We told you about the young linebackers and a secondary that is led by Sean Boyd. Third down. Out of the shotgun. Grow. Incomplete trying to hit. Jermaine Crowell on a crossing route that would have been shy of the first down inning the way. Mike Pringley was the man putting pressure on Mike Rowe. So the number one defense statistically in the country forces a three and out. Yeah, Mike put more than pressure on Grow. He put a Rydell helmet right under his rib cage, and that will disrupt things. And then you get Crowell, who doesn't finish. Right, so the Cavaliers, I think it's stopped by the nation's number one ranked defense. It'll bring on Will Bryce to punt. Octavius Barnes is the deep man. Bryce, oh, what a kick. Into the end zone, a 52-yard kick by Will Bryce. Carolina moved it smartly down the field on its first possession. Thomas on play action to the sideline. Montoro makes catch out of bounds at the 25-yard line, a yard shy of the first down. And here in the early going, the play action faking of Mike Thomas has been impressive. Well, just watch this. We want to give you a wide shot. Now, you're on defense for the Cavaliers. Watch him bite. And why wouldn't you? And that's that opens everything up. And then you get a great catch out of the flat. The tight end play has just been very good. Montero, see a little bit of Freddie Jones to come in as the game goes on. Second and short. Thomas gives it the lint. Good hole on the right side. He is out over the 30 yard line before. Jamie Sharper stood him up. It's another North Carolina first down. They have dominated the football here in the first quarter. North Carolina has not allowed Virginia to gain a first down. Meanwhile, the Tar Heels have moved the ball well. And balance has been the key. Now you see Lips numbers and Mac Brown got to be happy about this. Good start. A lot of balance started off throwing, but they're pounding the ball up front. Again, splitting Montoro, the tight end outside. Thomas with time over the middle. Leon Johnson with a good catch as somehow Thomas got the ball between Skeet Jones and James Ferrier. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, the guys in, in blue are making plays. I mean, this is a good pass rush. This is good coverage. Mike stays in strong, throws a dart, and that, that takes tremendous concentration. As you very well know, Mr. Corrigan, to catch those in traffic. James Ferrier, I'm sure, wondering how he didn't touch that football. Second and two. Johnson on the carry. First down, North Carolina. That last surge through the tackle of Percy Ellsworth and James Ferrier, enough to get North Carolina another first down. Rhythm. Real nice rhythm at Tar Heels. George Welsh has usually had his team start strongly. Yeah. It's been a different scenario, and he's got the redshirt freshman Anthony Poindexter in the ball game to try and pick up his defense. It's a little full screen again intended for 
Brown goes incomplete, but we'll get an offsides call against Virginia, I believe, although I don't. No, apparently he jumped back in time, so. That was actually Charles Preston 58 rather than John Harris 98. He was able to get back in time, so it's second and 10. Now, Jack, we got to look at at some point, Mike Thomas has got to take it, take the nines up. You got to try to get over the top. They've run enough underneath now, fill those screens, look for him to go up top. The only mistakes for Thomas in passing have been drops. He has been perfect, but the pressure is on. He gets away from Preston. Downfield. And nearly had it picked off by James Ferrier. And you can see Mike Thomas go, my bad, yeah. my bad. Yeah. This is what I like about Virginia. They're always close. They compete on every play or they challenge the play. Hands up, little pressure. They force you to get out of rhythm. Now, so far, Carolina has conquered it, but that's a near pick. And I'm sure James feels like, ah, could have been 23 weeks in a row of interceptions. This new field here at Keenan Stadium in George Welsh's mind has been decidedly tipped one way. It's all been downhill for Carolina but to this point just the seven points. They have a, had the advantage however. Thomas with time over the middle. No. Octavius Barnes in a crowd couldn't come up with it. Boy Eddie Robinson good pressure 55 and white coming on the backside and Again, you get a, you get the field, nice little slugfest. Uh, if I'm Virginia right now, <laughs> all they got to worry about is fatigue. Because Carolina's coming out, that's a nice drop. So you got three backers in there, good recognition. Those guys converge. It was close though. Percy Ellsworth will be back in single safety. Caparelli with a short first punt. Got that one, and it will sail into the end zone for a touchback. Exactly two minutes to play here in the first quarter. North Carolina scored on its first possession. We'll be back with more after this message from CarQuest Auto Parts. Ready to start play. The Virginia Cavaliers trailing 7 to nothing. They have yet to pick up a first down as they start this third possession on their own 20-yard line in a two-back set. Play action for Mike Grill. Under pressure, and he gets forward for a couple of yards. Ball popped loose. But it was after he was down. It'll end up being a gain of a couple. Greg Ellis back in the ball game, apparently all yeah, set to go Terry. again. And Rick Terry. He's a guy. Terry made it all happen. You know, talk a lot about Jones and rightfully so. But Terry and Ellis have really come on. I mean, that's just a clean break. Got away from Lachlan. Get you the quarterback, and then the rest of the blue shirts converge. Hand off Tiki Barber out over the 25 yard line. Coming up was Fuzzy Lee, the cornerback, to make the stop. Virginia has been in third and mediums to third and longs on now three straight possessions. They have yet to convert on the year. They have been so so on third down at just under 39 percent. They need somebody to step up, Jack, and make a big play. I mean, we're not, we don't need to be kidding ourselves. They just not have anybody make a play. Downfield, Jeffers can make the play under good coverage from Fuzzy Lee. Bro was, I think, feeling the pressure, and again, the ball was catchable, but not really on target. No, not on target, but that's my point. Make a play. I mean, it's not going to always be perfect. I mean, you're going up against Tar Heel defense. That ball's behind him, and that would have been a very difficult catch, but a catch that I think Jeffers is capable of making. I'm sure he'll come back and, and, and prove me right. Bill Bryce has been the guy keeping things from being worse for Virginia with two excellent punts so far. Fields another short snap and nails another pretty good punt. This is Barnes trying to find the corner. And he does. Octavius Barnes run out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Uh, McIver got cooked in. When you're coming down on contain as a pin punt coverage, you got to keep that outside shoulder free. He violated that rule and it cost him big time. North Carolina trying to win its third in a row. Jonathan Linton on first down gets just a couple. And at the bottom of the pile coming off quickly from the corner is Jamie Sharper. Well, you talk about a lot of contact in this game. This is no love affair, folks. Football. I like that. Those linebackers. 
Now that's a situation where Sharper, the linebacker, is smaller than Linton, the ball carrier. Yeah, he is. But he had a pop, so he had a big pop. Will Carolina get this play off before the quarter? No, they don't. 15 minutes of football in the book here at Chapel Hill. North Carolina went 65 yards on its first possession. Those are the only points on the board. 7-0 Tar Heels. 7-0 North Carolina after 15 minutes of football here in Chapel Hill. Jack Corrigan along with Doc Walker and our Mike Hogwood down on the sidelines. Virginia did not get a first down. Ran nine plays from scrimmage in the first 15 minutes. North Carolina dominated the stats, but just the one touchdown so far. Thomas looking downfield. Has his man. The tight end Freddie Jones in Virginia territory for another Carolina first down. Let's take a look at those first quarter stats. Our Lee Apparel first quarter statistics. Mm, rushing. UNC. Not overbearing, but I think the play selection really dominated. That doesn't show on that stat. The play selection I thought was was excellent. They have used the play action fake most effectively here so far. First and ten at the Virginia 47. Delayed handoff to Linton. Rick running room inside the 40. Lost the ball at the end of the play. He should have enough for another Tar Heel first down. Well, great at the point of attack again, Thomas. Baxter on that left side. I'm sure Daryl Moody, their offensive coordinator, has to like this. I mean, you good pad on pad place. There's a back who realized he wasn't going to get hooked, so I'll jump around him. And I watched the finish. Ball kind of popped out. But he was definitely down. Paul London was the guy who finally slowed down Linton, but not before he picked up 11 yards and another first down for North Carolina. This is Leon Johnson through the arms of Todd White for a couple. 11 first downs, Virginia without any. Let's go down to the sidelines, Mike Hogwood. I'll tell you, not only does North Carolina have the momentum on the field, they've got it on the sidelines, too. There's a total lack of emotion over here on the Virginia sideline. The coaches are obviously aware of it. They're walking up and down trying to get the guys going. But right now, you, you really don't sense a lot of life over here, Virginia, and that's surprising, this game being as big as it is. Need a big play, Hawk. That's their problem. They don't have anybody to make a play offensively. Or defensively to this point. Thomas, screen again. That would have been gone the other way for Joe Crocker as the pass on the screen intended for Octavius Barnes was nearly picked off. Yeah Joe was going up for the crunch didn't have his mind on the pigskin. But again that's the Cavaliers defense they always have opportunities. See it comes right off the nick. If that ball is not tapped then he was in great position. It looked tap. it looked like Doc that Mike Thomas was throwing it towards Chris Watson and he was the lead blocker. Third and eight. Leon Johnson, big hole. Johnson, first down, North Carolina. Joe Rowe made the hit, but not before Leon Johnson took it inside the Virginia 25. Again, terrific play call and a good block downfield by Mark Montoro, the tight end. That level of first level of up front, those big guys, man. Baxter, there you see on the pull, bam, honeycut. And a good running downfield, and that, that's really probably their best, the cleanest offensive play on the ground. It's a excellent execution. Man. Carolina's on the roll. Johnson and McGregor, the running backs behind Mike Thomas. It's Johnson again. Leon squirts through a hole inside the 20 to about the 18 or 19 yard line. Percy Ellsworth, the safety, having to make another tackle. When you keep hearing the names of the defensive backs, it means the offensive line is doing its job. You know, they're starting to get to the point now where we're talking about mauling people up front, 75, Ryan Baxter. So you see those blue shirts now, and they're starting to get a surge. And Virginia's competing, but they're losing. It's a warm, muggy day, and that defense of Virginia has been out there virtually the entire ball game. Johnson has thrown once. Once again, outstanding play calling by North Carolina. Uh, Daryl Moody, what a game plan, pal. 
You got it working. They have had misdirection. They've had the quick screens. They've rolled out. I think Freddie Jones, the tight end, is the guy who deserves a lot of credit on this. He made that reach block look real. And he sucked those linebackers up, got the secondary as well. There was no way to recover in the reserves. Carolina Blue stomping. There's Daryl Moody engineering the attack from up high here in Keenan Stadium. Caparelli's extra point is blocked. John Harris. Covered by North Carolina, but John Harris makes it a 13-0 rather than 14-0 North Carolina advantage with 12-17 to play in the first half. North Carolina with a little bit of razzle-dazzle. The halfback option pass by Leon Johnson ups their advantage to 13. Equally impressive, the Carolina defense has yet to allow a first down. Terrence Wilkins and Pete Allen awaiting the kick of Scott Caparelli. This one is going to go through the end zone. Mike Brill throwing on first down over the middle. He has his tight end and has a first down as well just shy of the first down is Bobby Neely out at about the 28 yard line. That was a 60 play 60 yard eight play drive for North Carolina on their last touchdown. Unusual to have two halfback option passes in the same half much less the same ball game but if it works why not you got a guy wearing 12 in your backfield <laughs> you might as well take advantage of it second and one Tiki Barber cutting back looking for running room and Omar Brown said how do you do it's the first first down for Virginia but Omar Brown made it a very short game yeah you know when your offense scores points Defensively, it just excites you. And you know now that you can come in and make plays. Listen to this. Big time hit. You know, Virginia, that first quarter, that was their most productive offensive scoring uh, quarter. And so it's really unusual for them to have been shut out. On first down, they give the ball to Kevin Brooks. And Brooks goes over the left side for about three or four before Sean Boyd makes the hit. Brooks the fifth year senior out of Chesapeake Virginia. Honorable mention all conference a year ago. He and Barber have both played well this year but Barber has supplanted Kevin as the number one tailback when Brooks went out with an injury early in the season and Barber got the bulk of the playing time. That means you have a good football team. Well with time. And a man wide open is the tight end again. Bobby Neely fumbled it out of bounds. It'll be another first down, and Neely is down again. Neely, who has been injured this season, took quite a hit from Sean Boyd. It's his third catch and the second time he's been injured. That's a nice throw. Nice throw by my. You see him go down, and really didn't appear to be a great hit. Well, remember, he took the helmet on the right hand before, and look at his right hand again underneath his yeah. body as he falls. They need Bobby healthy. See him out of Atlanta. He seems to be all right now. We'll try and update the situation with our Mike Hogwood if we can. Neely with three catches for 40 yards for the senior out of Atlanta, Georgia. Virginia in Carolina territory. At the 37 of the Tar Heels. 6.32 to play here in the second quarter. Carolina up by 13. Throw on play action. Finds Pete Allen on the sidelines. He runs out of bounds after just a gain of about four or five. Terry Billups and Brian Simmons chased little Pete out of bounds. Yeah, I'm a little Well, you know, we have important people on our crew now there's Jimmy Vandeford our sideline our end zone camera he is so important we have to have all those troopers on hand to keep the crowd away from Jimmy in the end zone that's how important he is more important than Hollywood are you serious well you know it's all goes with him okay. counter play Kevin Brooks close to first down yardage
Now it looks like uh, Virginia has made up that yardage now on the penalty on the punt and momentum somewhat switching. Well, Doc Walker said Virginia needed somebody to make some big plays, and the defensive stand, the sack by Ashman and the good hit by a White, gave them a chance to crank it up here in the closing minutes of the first half. 5.50 and counting. Third and short. Grow will keep it himself and dive ahead for the first down. Eric Thomas among the Tar Heel defenders to make the hit, number 38. Notice the last guy get up, Agostino again. Walt Derry, you watch that left side. I mean, guys, really? And then you watch Agostino again. He's got him on rollerblades, and you watch the tight end, Walt Derry downfield. I mean, that's a great surge by the left side of the Cavalier line. Here's Derry, the tight end, the junior out of Roanoke. Virginia's on the board. Well, that evens the score, and it really puts some confidence. Look at the swagger. Swagger's back for the Cavaliers. Now you can consider we have a ball game. Mike Grow makes a great read on this. Actually had his choice. Had Walt Derry coming right across the middle again to play action. We've watched Carolina use play action with great success. This time he froze the secondary. That's good catch. You see how he secured that? That's because he dropped a couple. Well, he didn't drop that one. Jermaine Crowell, the sophomore from nearby Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Rafael Garcia's extra point is good. And the North Carolina advantage is down to six with 5.24 to play. The corner route to Crowell for the score. North Carolina has seen Virginia finally get on the board in the closing minutes here of the first half. And now let's see how they respond to the 62 yard drive with Jermaine Crowell at the end of the touchdown catch from Mike Rowe, the seventh TD toss of the season for Mike Rowe. Garcia's kickoff, fielded by Marcus Wall, looking for some running room and will be shot down by Sam McIver and C.E. Rhodes. to Johnson, trying to turn the corner, first down and more. Leon Johnson to the 45-yard line and nearly broke it. Boy, Ferrier played that to a T. Carolina just blocked it. Johnson with great vision. I mean, you see Jones in your screen. Ferrier is up. That's where you ought to be. Right there, the cutback. And the continuation by Carolina offensive linemen to keep putting pressure on people. And this kid can just run. He can just flat run. And watch the green angle here. See, that's good vision. See, there's the cutback. It's hard to coach that. Just has it. They've been waiting for the Leon Johnson explosion here in 95. This may be the afternoon. Thomas looking down field. Marcus Wall got tangled up. And we're going to have an interference call against Rondé Barber. Marcus Wall and Barber were together down around the 38-yard line of Virginia. They both went down, and the flag went against the defense. Pass interference. Defense. 15-yard penalty. Previous spot. Automatic first. It will move it to the Virginia 40-yard line. And with four and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter, Mac Brown is looking for another score to negate the Virginia touchdown. Well, it goes back to Percy Ellsworth. He had the ball in his hand. Could have turned the tide of this football game. And good football teams, when you let them off the hook, they usually make you pay for it. First and 10 at the Virginia 15. Rondé Barber gave it his all, but didn't have enough help. Thomas, the reverse to Octavius Barnes. He wants to throw the ball. But he's in trouble, and he's going to go down back at his 26-yard line. One more time into the gadget book, and this time, James Ferrier and company were ready for it. Talks about the weather conditions, so you're going to move players around. Eddie Robinson, young man at a high point in North Carolina, has had a fantastic half for the Cavaliers. I mean, he, he really disrupts this play. Cavaliers, you know, they may have a couple of bad plays, then they'll make a big play. See, he almost stops it there. Now, watch the pursuit. He does always more than one Cavalier at the point of attack. 
And one of the guys pursuing was Big Todd White, the defensive tackle. Loss of 10. Thomas, short roll. Looking deep into the end zone. Ellsworth breaks it up. Nay Brown, the true freshman, running a corner route, trying to beat Percy Ellsworth. They are so talented. You know, they, they're always on the tip pass or the interception or in the area. This time, protection, pretty decent. Maybe a little grab of the cloth at the end on John Harris. See, and it really looked like Ellsworth is the receiver. He goes up, and that's the thing I like about the secondary in Virginia. They always turn on the offensive brain cells. Quick. Third and 20 for the Tar Heels. Final minute of the first half. Thomas to the sidelines. Caught by Watson. Breaks a tackle and lunges inside the 10. He did not get out of bounds. Rondé Barber knocked him down. He'll be four yards shy of the first down. And now what does North Carolina want to do? Clock still running. Continue to pound. I'll tell you this, the, the weather is definitely a factor now on the down line for Virginia. There's no pressure. There was no pressure on that play. Hard to have back-to-back -back plays where you hustle. You brought out Todd White's great effort running across field, but it hurt him on that play in the pass rush. Scott Caparelli is 5 of 8 on the season and a perfect 3 of 3 from inside of 30 yards. And this will be approximately a 26 27 yard field goal attempt from the left hash. Caparelli with a 26 yard attempt out of the hold of Greg Williams and he fires it through. North Carolina extends its lead to nine on the field goal by Scott Caparelli the senior out of Virginia Beach Virginia.
Harper. What a cut in traffic farther into Carolina territory. And out of bounds at the Tar Heel 41-yard line. Watch this move again. Well, you can just start to sense now that the Cavaliers have caught up with themselves. Now they're starting to get back in the groove. Again, watch. There's certain things you can't coach. That's one time you can't, and it'll come up once again. You got guys downfield blocking, great balance. And you're starting to feel like, okay, I knew I was capable of this. Nice at the point of attack. Once again, Cavaliers up front. Welcome. Really, Augustino doing a job. They get it to Parker again. Long is hip and incomplete. He was ahead of the quarterback, so it's an incomplete pass. Brooks changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Gives the ball to Brooks, trying to pick his way through. But Cavusa Bamez is right there. It's a gain of only a yard. Elsewhere in college football here this afternoon. Florida and LSU that's a good Southeastern Conference battle they're underway down the road in Durham Georgia Tech and Duke Tide we'll see Georgia Tech next week in Atlanta against North Carolina and those Ohio State Buckeyes trying to hand Penn State its second straight loss at home and look at Northwestern they are not the mild cats anymore now well, Barnett's got it going Another third down situation Virginia has converted only one of these this afternoon Wide open, Kevin Brooks out of the backfield. Brooks down to the 23 of North Carolina. Omar Brown on the stop, but Virginia had the right play called that time. Well, you look at past situations on the third down when they got beat on the prior play by Greg Ellis. You want to get something quick. I'm sure Coach O'Brien said, hey, if it's not downfield, Mike, get, get away with it. That time he does. You drop it down to a man that knows what to do with it after the catch. Brooks, he comes up with a big play. Only the fourth catch on this season for Kevin Brooks, but a huge one. Now Barber gets the call on first down. What a hit by Brian Simmons. It looked like Barber had lots of real estate, and Brian Simmons said otherwise. Now when you run 4-5 in the 40, you're 230 pounds, and you just, it ought to be a law against that. This young man out of New Bern High School just feels real well. See, he didn't get misled by lack of vision by the offensive lineman of the Cavaliers. He stayed with it, made the play. Second and seven, Virginia at the Carolina 19. Jeffers, Crowell, and Bird, the wide receivers. Here comes the blitz. Virginia picks it up downfield. Crowell, contact in the end zone. Who's it on, Omar Brown or Jermaine Crowell? Well, this is one time that a poor pass by Mike Rowe worked to his advantage. Because I don't think he had a shot at that football. That ball was up and away. I think he might have. See, you watch this at the end of the play. So you can't get to it. Well, you can see the push, yeah. though. You there can see the right arm extended by Omar Brown. Watch the right arm right there pushing yeah. on Crowell, and that's what he got called for. Now, that was a little contact there, but he was also the fact that Jermaine was going for the football. And, and I don't he know how not. a little incidental on it. Yeah, it's, it's, but you're going to have those. Pass interference against the defense. 15 yard penalty, previous spot, first down. It is not a half the distance foul if you can mark off the 15 yards. So the ball will go from the 19 to the four yard line, and it'll be first and goal. Virginia down by nine, but threatening with 6.42 to play here in the third quarter. The thing that has to trouble you now is that, you know, North Carolina, you've taken their best shot, and yet now you have a chance to score and get closer. Charles Kirby joins Medley and Barber in the backfield. Barber gets the ball, trying to run to the corner. Touchdown, Virginia. Tiki Barber. Makes it a 16 to 13 ball game with the conversion try coming. Chris Harrison with the hug. Offensive linemen love it when those backs get away on their side. Whether or not you crush the guy in front of you, and you got a guy with his kind of speed, and you don't force him back in, forget it. All dairy at the point of attack, and you watch Medley. See, at this point, not forget all about it. Nobody in the country is going to catch this young man. Tenth touchdown of the season on the ground for the junior from Roanoke, Virginia. Rafael Garcia trying to make it a two-point ball game, and he does. Just as Doc Walker said, North Carolina has 
handled everything Virginia has thrown at him in this ball game. Played very well, but all of a sudden, midway through the third quarter, it's a two-point advantage. And there he is. Well, I knew he could sing. I didn't know he could dance. I didn't know too. The Hulk could dance too. Go for it, Hulk, man. <laughs> So it makes college football great, though, isn't it? I mean, it does. Another big crowd here at Keenan Stadium, more than 50,000. And those two young men trying to get the troops going. What's impressive here, this is fall break, and many of the students could go home on the weekend, yet we still have a big crowd on hand here in Chapel Hill. Now with the Cavaliers coming to town, you don't go home. Garcia to kick it away. Williams at the 15. Williams takes it out close to the 30 yard line where Adrian Burnham knocked him down. Jonathan Linton running the ball over the left side. Got just a couple. Down to our Blues brother, Mike Hogwood. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, you wish you had these dancing feet there, Jack. I mean, I talked in the first half about the lack of emotion on the Virginia sidelines. Folks, that has changed. With that last touchdown, this team now believes that despite all the frustration of this day, they can really win this football game, and they're starting to get really pumped up over here on the Cavaliers' sideline. The emotion is back. North Carolina flexes their tight end, Freddie Jones, on the right side along with Marcus Wall. Thomas and Trevor the football. It's loose, covered by Jeff Saturday back at the 20-yard line. Big move by Saturday. And there's one more. I mean, really, I think the TKO in this game would be if the Cavaliers were to pick up their 23rd interception. They've yet to do that. Now, pass pro here looked pretty decent until at the end. He got a little breakdown. There's the Ashman. Dwayne Ashman comes in. Would have been sack number four for Ashman. Definitely now his sixth pressure on the year. And he's a strong man, folks. He's really having a game. And that ball laid free for quite a long period of time. Third long for Thomas. Downfield has his man. Just shy of the first down. Paul London on the stop, but he'll be a yard shy of the first down. Carolina will have to put it away, but they've got to be pleased that Barnes has his confidence back. Can't win without this guy on your side. Barnes comes back and shows he can make a big catch in traffic. Nice throw by Mike Thomas just past the outstretched reach of Jamie Sharper. Coming off that fumble for Thomas, I mean, he's shown tremendous poise this afternoon. Virginia again showing 10 men on the line of scrimmage. But they have the return set up. Good kick. Best one of the afternoon by Caparelli. Barber calls for the fair catch at his own 19 yard line. 4.37 to play here in the third quarter in Chapel Hill. Virginia, North Carolina in a heavyweight bout. Carolina by two. 16 14, North Carolina with the advantage. They led at one point 13 to nothing. Virginia scored on its last possession, starting here inside their own 20. First down, Kevin Brooks, just a couple over the right side. Marcus Jones, the first man to get to him. Cavaliers try to switch a few people up on the offensive line. Trevor Britton in, 63 for the Cavaliers. It would be important to try to keep your troops a little wind, you know, from get too winded now. Weather conditions have been a tad humid. Temperature right around 80 degrees, but the humidity is about at the same level. Oh, yeah. That was rough. Although well, Hall still has his jacket on. That's a good sign. Play action. Throw with time. And a man, Jeffers. But he ran himself back shy of the first down. Yep. His momentum carried him short of the sticks. Come on, Jack. Do you coach wide receivers? Wouldn't you coach that kid to come back and meet the football? Well, you're right, but All you right, got to know where the yeah, know where the down what marker would you is. Say now? How would you grade him on this then? I'd say good catch, good concentration, know where the down marker is. Yeah. Boy, you're hard on him. You're hard on those kids to say the nations. Man, you're a tough guy. I'd say he might great job, man, all the way around on that guy. Third and short. Option. Brooks, first down and more to the 35-yard line. Eric Thomas on the stop. But Virginia converts on third down. Yeah, that's a tough play. Tough play, especially backed up in enemy territory, to have confidence to get that toss out. And then watch Brooks get, get on the brakes and then go vertical. 
And that's 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 it's a good way to finish. You don't think of Mike Rowe as an option quarterback, but he made the good call on that one and chose the right man to get the ball to. He really did. Well, you got to figure out some ways to beat this Tar Heel defense. Number one ranked defense in the country. Brooks against the blitz. Kevin Brooks for about 11. They'll spot it closer to the 45, but it's a 10 yard pickup and another Virginia first down. Yeah, and I like the way Jermaine Crowell downfield was trying to block, trying to help his buddy. Charles Kirby injured early on in the season. You know the story, Barber has come in, but this young man is showing you why he was the leader on this ball club a year ago running the football. But that was a truck. I might have been able to get through that one. That was a big one. Well, maybe not. Virginia on the move with 315 to play in the third quarter. As they give it to Darren Medley. And at the end of the play, Derek Bird like was that. cordially introduced to Omar Brown. Yeah, but see, that's good clicks on both sides. Wide receivers going downfield, trying to chip on the secondary. And Mr. Brown flexed his muscle. It was a first and nine. Give Daryl Medley a pickup of almost five. We'll call it second and five. of Bobby Neely and it'll set up a third and nine would have been a first down that was there Gro put it right where it had to be in your days at Cornell as a receiver did you wear gloves no well they didn't have the gloves I, uh, there were a few days that far ago yeah. long ago they didn't have those kind of gloves well, just any kind of gloves. no gloves huh no there you see Mike right in the pocket nice throw and catch right off the face man I don't think he got his arms he couldn't get his arms up to make the catch keep in mind he's Working with a slight shoulder separation point. Throw on third down. Can't avoid the rush. Greg Ellis for the third time this afternoon. North Carolina holds. All right, Reggie Love in the secondary doing a fine job. It took away the wide receivers on this nowhere to go downfield. Carolina Blue just swarming quarterbacks. Hey, you see Mike Grove thinking, okay, I got a pretty good plan on this. Do you see the pressure? Just no way to get in. And you look downfield and you wonder what happens. Just good coverage in the secondary. Will Bryce will have to punt it away again. His seventh punt of the afternoon. Trying to hang it up. Pete Allen looking for the ball. Oh, that's a great kick. Out of bounds at the nine and a half, almost the ten yard line. Final 38 seconds of the third quarter. North Carolina on its third possession. They have been backed up throughout this second half. Thomas on the roll. Looking downfield. Short hops it to Marcus Ball because of the pressure of Todd White. Man, we've talked a lot about down linemen on both sides. Ellis, Terry, Jones, and Davis. For the Carolina team and Ashman White, A.G. and Harris, just really, I mean, relentless effort under adverse conditions, weather. See, he's there. If he get those hands straight up on that one, he might have had a lot. Credit Daryl Moody deep in his own territory, not being content to be conservative. Now, wanted to get it out and get his offense going. Moody, the offensive coordinator, of course, for the Tar Heels. Thomas again throwing. Pass Watson is fullback. He'll be a couple of yards shy of the first down, but it's third and short. Carolina can afford. Now Watson looks like he has a cramp or a problem with his right leg. He has cramp time. Around into the third quarter. The fluids have just just about depleted enough to where you're going to see some guys go down. 14 seconds remaining on the clock here in the third quarter. 15 minutes of football to play in this heavyweight non title bout, but the contenders <laughs> trying to find the champ who will advance to try and tangle later on with Florida State. Stick around for the outcome. 15 minutes of football to play, North Carolina by two as we take a look at our Lee Apparel stats after three quarters of play. And like Virginia in the first quarter, North Carolina without a first down in the third quarter. They had 244 yards of offense through two periods, so they were shut down less than 50 yards in the third quarter. They face a third down 
and four. 0 for three on third down in the third period. Five for 13 in the ball game. Thomas with time overshoots Randy Jackson, but it is caught by Octavius Barnes, and that keeps the drive alive. And shades of the Raiders and the Steelers back in the old days. I mean, this is, you don't often see this. Here we go, pretty good pass throw at the end, a little pressure. Then we got a miss, and you start thinking pick. Boy, he waited on that well and made the catch. Just in front of Joe Rowe. That used to be illegal. I'm glad they got rid of that rule. Thomas will throw for the fourth straight time. Pass Johnson. Leon slices up the sidelines for another North Carolina first down to the 36 yard line. Mike Thomas has thrown the ball on every play of this drive. Cavs let the heels off the hook. And now Thomas makes him pay. What Leon Johnson. What an athlete. Caught 10 balls in the opening game against Syracuse. But then it caught just five in the next three games. He has been active catching the football here this afternoon. Four catches for 45 yards. Ashman nearly jumped offside. And Thomas will go down. Tony Dingle, the true freshman from Fayetteville, North Carolina, gets the Virginia sack. And you know he likes this 282-pound freshman who comes in. You're trying to get some fresh legs in. See the difference when you get a guy in there that can let his motor run. Jeff Saturday's looking around, going, "What happened?" Fourth sack on the afternoon, or third sack officially. One other time, Thomas tried to run the ball and got back to the line of scrimmage. Thomas will roll this time to avoid the pressure. Marcus Moore dropped the football. In big games, many times you get young men trying to do too much. And Marcus Wall wanted to run with this ball before he put it away. That play had a good potential, too. They set it up. They got Ashman's hands down right in front of Barber. So you're waiting on it. Ball comes in right in the old, as they used to say, bread basket. In my day, in well, your day, what they call it then? That was many years. Yeah, they, they, and then in the cave, you know, the Stone Age, right? Stone Age, yeah. Right. Then they played with leather hats. Third and long. But Thomas throw it again. He has on every play. He's forced to by field position. Goes downfield and it is picked off. Paul London with the interception up the sidelines and out of bounds at the 22-yard line. 23 games in a row, Virginia has intercepted a pass, and now they have a chance to take the lead. That, folks, is Cavalier defense. Tony Dingle comes in, 89. He is the difference, folks. Two big plays in this series. He just beats him right up front, gets away. Then you see the break on the ball. That's what the Cavaliers do extremely well. They break on the football. And it just, you got to think as an offense, but well, sooner or later, they're going to get us, and they do. Call it picked off, folks. Tiki Barber carries the ball on first down and gets positive yardage inside the 20. Second interception of the season for Paul London in a 20-yard return. And now you hearken back to the John Harris block of the extra point try after Carolina's second touchdown. A field goal would give Virginia the lead here. Yeah, little things in football. You may play 70 plays in a game, but it'll invariably come down to one or two. Jeffers and Allen to the left, Crowell to the right of Mike Groh in the one-back set. Walt Derry the tight end to the left. Barber gets the call up over right guard and was tripped up as he fell across the 15. It'll set up a third down and three for Virginia. Well, that Bonnie Holiday has really played well. There you see Barber with the numbers, 65 yards today, averaging close to 110 yards, but 52 yards in the second half. Right. That's done. There's Holiday. He was a factor, folks, in that particular play. So you're starting to see some of the other guys get in. London. They have to get to the Carolina 12. on the play by Russell Davis, the defensive end who dropped off that ball, actually hit him in the backside. 
Davis pulled it off, but Marcus Jones was the factor in this. Could have picked up a holding penalty on this. I mean, he just he just broke three. It was a jailbreak. Well, there you see Marcus one on one. Virtually impossible to try to block this guy. You know, Russell Davis on screen patrol recognized the play, spun around, and was the man defending Tiki Barber. So Rafael Garcia will try and put Virginia up with a 33 yard field goal try. And it's good. Virginia with 12.07 to play here in the fourth quarter takes its first lead. 17 to 16. They don't like using the T word here in North Carolina, but the first turnover of the ball game turns the score the Cavaliers way for the first time this afternoon. Rafael Garcia with his eighth field goal of the season. You see Georgia Tech leading in Durham in the second quarter. And you got to believe that C.J. Williams has a few yards on the ground. I bet you he's got over 100. The Duke's playing a good football game. Coming off that disappointing loss to the Naval Academy, you know that they want to get back and get a little bit of the excitement they had a year ago. Marcus Wall, one of the best kick returners in the country, will get the chance from his own one-yard line. Gets it out to about the 23 or 24-yard line. Freddie Jones is tight end as they flooded the zone with Jones, Linton, and Barnes. Greg Terry on the coverage as now some of the starting linebackers return for Virginia. Key is depth. And I know you had a conversation with Rick Lance, the defensive coordinator with Virginia, and his lack of playing guys in that Michigan game and how he felt it hurt him. Well, now they've got some experience and some depth for the Cavaliers. Second and ten, Thomas looking on the quick slant, goes the other way to Marcus Wall. Good open field tackle by Rondé Barber at the 40-yard line. It'll leave Carolina four yards shy of a first down. Explosive. Rondé Barber is an explosive athlete. Once he makes up his mind to break on the ball, one of the reasons why he's so proficient in interceptions, but he gets there in a hurry. The ACC Rookie of the Year last year. Skeet Jones, the starting middle linebacker, back in the ball game on third and four. Thomas slant again to Octavius Barnes. First down, Carolina. Overload one side, get the one on one, and run the hitch route. Okay, and you'll go weak to Barnes. And I wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt me to see a little hitch and go come off of this later on. Going up against Rondé, who's so aggressive. A little soft turf, that could be in the, in the game plan. Actually, that was Joe Rowe who ended up being on the short side that time, and Rowe was again matched up with Octavius Barnes at the bottom of your screen out of the picture. Leon Johnson trying to pick his way, gets it right up the midfield where Todd White stopped him. Boy, that's smooth running. That guy's changing directions and making decisions, you know, all at the point of attack. That, that was fine bit of running. How good are these two defenses? Two of the best running backs in the country, Leon Johnson and Tiki Barber. Johnson with 56 yards unofficially, Barber with 65. That's great defensive line play. Yeah, no, it's a slugfest. 8.55 to play, ball right at midfield. Another Carolina first down in front of Joe Rowe at the 34 yard line. Okay, we got a collision at the at the bottom of this play. Two Cavaliers coming in strong. I think Robinson might have been on this. Now watch you. Now that's a nice route. That is an excellent route. Comes out of there and makes a play. Do so. First down, Tar Heels at the Virginia 34. Thomas to throw again. Out of the flat to Johnson. Trying to get away from Joe Rowe, or Joe Crocker this time. And just a couple of yards. Good defense by the Cavaliers. Yeah, good one-on-one. -on -one. 
Crocker holds his base and then Ashman 270 pounder comes over in pursuit and lays the hammer. Leon Johnson's fifth catch of the afternoon Dwayne Ashman with the pressure on Mike Thomas. It's a gain of three. Second and seven as Montoro the tight end flexes right with Marcus Wall. Barnes splits left in the eye set up for Mike Thomas. And they give it to Leon Johnson. And Johnson gets it down close to a first down. Dwayne Ashman on the stop. Boy, that's smash mouth football. Going up against some smash mouth defense, too. Now they have been primarily throwing the ball. Now the run is used as a counter. Yeah, but look at the wide splits. So you got wide splits in there and it allows big number six watching to get in there. Got a little stalemate out on the wings with Byron. Thomas and that was just enough gap to allow Johnson to get through. Third and one, John Harris back in the ball game for Virginia. Johnson, I don't know. I don't think so. Where the spot is, he is going to be about a half yard shy. That time in the Smash Mouth Arena, known as the middle of the field, the advantage went to the guys wearing white shirts. Scott Caparelli has not attempted a field goal of more than 40 yards this year. It would have been a 41 yard attempt, and that's why Carolina is going for yeah, it. Good point. And his long of 37. Now, here we go. Watch your left side, folks. Watch the staggered count, perhaps, as well, to draw Virginia offside. Break the tendency. They toss it to Johnson. He's got the first down. Leon Johnson inside the 10 yard line. Ran right through the tackle of two Cavaliers. The biggest run of the season for Leon Johnson. And they broke the tendency. Hey, I'm calling left, man. They've been running left. They go right. But it didn't matter. They could have gone anywhere with 12 with the ball because he made up his mind not to be denied. It looked like he go down there with Ferrier. Man, he got Cavaliers ripping off his back. Left and right, man. Look at the leg drive. Strong run. Clock rolling, 6.25 to play. First and goal, North Carolina. Leon Johnson. Leon Johnson, touchdown. And they're going to go for two. football game folks but not a hundred percent let's see what happens at the point of attack the hustle is there there's just too much muscle up front in Tar Heel Blue fifth touchdown on the ground this season for Leon Johnson North Carolina wanting to take it back to a seven point advantage will attempt the two point try yeah there's too much effort to come up and lose by one they will flex Freddie Jones to the right with the flanker Marcus Wall. Barnes to the left. Thomas will give it to Johnson. And Leon will go down. Ashman. Dwayne Ashman with the big play on the two point try. 6 13 to play in this football game. North Carolina with a five point lead on number nine, Virginia. North Carolina with a 77 yard touchdown drive capped off by Leon Johnson's six yard run regaining the lead with 613 to play Virginia keep in mind used one of its timeouts earlier in this quarter so Mike Rowe has just two remaining as Pete Allen and Terrence Wilkins await the kick of Scott Caparelli. Wilkins has come close on several occasions to breaking one. Caparelli, I'm sure, would like to kick it out of the end zone, but he won't get that one. Wilkins at his seven. He'll go down at the 27-yard line. Cavaliers at their own 27, trailing by five. Walt Derry in the ball game at tight end. Jeffers in motion to the right. Throw downfield has Derry as tight end at the 40. Walt Derry, the junior from Roanoke in traffic, comes up with a good catch. Yeah, now he's a little hobbled. 
makes a nice catch in traffic. This is what failed the Cavaliers in the first half. They didn't have a guy that could come and make a play. Here, Walt has been a stud all year long. He looks that football in, looks the near tip of that ball right into his hands, makes a big play. Bobby Neely replaces Derry, and Derek Bird comes into the ball game. Well, the throw again. A little slip pass to Jeffers. Jeffers has got great speed. Patrick Jeffers inside the Carolina 35. Fuzzy Lee stopped what might have been a touchdown run, and now Jeffers comes up with a cramp. You know, we talked about the cramp, folks. It's going to happen now. The adrenaline and the lack of fluids in the system. Watch this. Good call. Mike Groh now is on. You knew it was sooner or later, folks. He's too good not to play that well. Then you see Jeffers just weaving and bobbing downfield. Big time play for the Cavaliers. Bro 14 to 25 for 170 yards. They give it to Tiki Barber and he goes nowhere. Marcus Jones and Greg Ellis. And now a late flag and a personal foul call could be in the offing. Mike yeah. Cogwood has more down on the sidelines. Mike? I'll tell you, this last five minutes, it's going to be a real test of will down here. Both of these teams are flat, worn out. It has been hot and muggy, as you guys have said. And it's going to be a real test of condition down here now as uh, these defenses are really battling fatigue and the heat. And fatigue sometimes makes you do dumb things. That personal foul will push it back to the 47-yard line. Dead ball foul. After the play was over, personal foul. Get the offense, 15-yard penalty, and the run, second down. Back to the 48-yard line, and it is a dead ball foul, meaning it's second down. So it is now second down. They have to get to their 23, or the Carolina 23, so it's second and 25. Credit John Boyd on that for the Tar Heels for getting Chris Harris riled up. Bro, under pressure. Gets it to the 41 yard line, but leaves him a long way from the first down. Third and 18. Here we'll watch Mike Grove on the scramble. They're not in opportune field position because of a personal foul. Here you watch Grove. He's a competitor. He really is. Deshaun Boyd got under Chris Harris' skin. You can't allow, you can't be the second guy to hit. Second guy gets hit, gets caught. Third down. Down goes Mike Rowe. Greg Ellis again. Yeah, Ellis is there, but he owes that all to Marcus Jones. You wait for your true All-American to step it up when the chips are on the ground. And I tell you what, folks, there you see Jones beats it, gets inside. I mean, Slope does the best he can do, but he takes away that upfield rush, puts it on, and that allows Ellis, Terry, and company to convert. And because of the sack, Virginia will punt, hope they can hold Carolina to three plays and get it back in the closing seconds. Bryce's kick will be down inside the five with 329 to play in the fourth quarter. I know you're not going anywhere. Why would you? This has been a good one. 22-17 North Carolina. 22-17 North Carolina has it at their own three-yard line. Following the effort by Joe Rhoda down the punt. They've been throwing much of the second half, but they want to run it here. Leon Johnson gets very little as Dwayne Ashman hit him right after the handoff. Go Ashman. Walked hobbled off the field in the last series after stopping uh, back on a two point conversion. This man has had one whale of a game and going up against a real stud, Byron Thomas. This has been a war, and Ashton has won more than his share of the battle. North Carolina wants to grind down the time, run the ball, and protect it. If they gain one first down, they gain the victory. Trying to make it three in a row. They'll send Marcus Ball out as the lone wide receiver in a two tight end set. They give it to Johnson again, and he goes down at the five yard line. Todd White there on the hit. And we've been calling these names out White, Ashman Harris, 
AG, these guys, Dingle has come and had some big plays. Robinson, Preston. I mean, this has been a really concerted effort. But those six down linemen, you throw in Williams in this deal, and they have been very productive. But we're down now to the final blows. 2.20 to play. Virginia will save its timeout probably for the end of this play if North Carolina doesn't get a first down. Again, just Wall as a wide receiver and the toss to Johnson trying to get outside. He does not. And Virginia calls time, stopping the clock with 2.02 to play. ACC cornerback Rondé Barber on the hit of Leon Johnson. Strong block it up front. Freddie Jones, 92, Carolina. Man, I'm telling you what, this guy can block. Strong at the front part. We talked about Bab, Honeycutt, Saturday. These guys have really, really played hard. To Scott Caparelli, Kevin Addis needs to have a great one here to get the ball quickly to Caparelli so he can get it away. Tiki Barber standing at midfield. The Cavaliers line up 10 men. Well, McIver has been close on a couple of blocks. He is number 14 at the bottom of your screen. Caparelli gets it away. But it takes a Virginia bounce and will die at the Carolina 39 yard line. One minute and 51 seconds to play. Virginia and Carolina will go down to the wire. Patrick Jeffers back in the ball game. Mike Rowe downfield. Knocked away by Omar Brown as he tried to hit Pete Allen. Boy, that's breaking on the ball. Omar Brown has been everywhere. Young man out of York, PA. Folks, he's been on it. Been intimidating against the run. This is exactly what Grow wants. He wants to have a football. See the break? Ball was actually there. He knocked it out. Second and 10. That play took five seconds. 146 to play. Grow rolling to avoid some of the pressure. Kavusa Mays stripped the ball away from him. Bro recovers it, but back at the 49-yard line, it's a 10-yard loss. And he keeps his hand. He's trying to get the Cavaliers off his back into it. Kavusa Mays, a folks, 4 6 and a 40, 240 pounds killer on defense. Third and 20. Bro to Tiki Barber. Barber trying to get around the corner. Still on his feet. Barber circles back the other way and has blockers. Tiki Barber goes down at the 47-yard line. Great hit by Reggie Love. Yeah, he needs to get out of bounds, though. Great effort if he can get back out of bounds. Clock is running. 55 seconds. Fourth down. And eight. Man, this shows some courage. He has some guts. Watch this, folks, and watch how many people get back involved in this. Get blocked. Carolina Blue still hustling. Fourth down. Mike Rowe downfield. And the North Carolina Tar Heels have sprung the upset. Omar Brown, the sophomore from York, Pennsylvania with two big plays on the final defensive stand. Oh, this kid comes up big. But Andre Purvis, 70, applying the pressure. That defensive line, see, that's just who wants it. That was a jump ball. Who wanted it more? Van Grow, I mean, he went down strong fight. Showed great leadership. Thinks he's got a shot at it. After an 0-2 start, following a preseason top 20 ranking, the North Carolina Tar Heels, as Matt Brown said, we regrouped, we went inside the family, we didn't worry about anybody else except ourselves. And now they are 3-2 with hopes alive for yet a big season in 1995. Yeah, it's a tremendous win for Carolina because Virginia can play and they'll come back. Don't count the Cavaliers out. They're still in the thick of it. Bold pitcher is still promising. But folks, this was a dog fight. 
The North Carolina Tar Heels with their resurrected quarterback Mike Thomas and a great defense win a big ball game down on the field Mike Hogwood. Uh, you talk about big. This was huge. I a classic ACC battle. Well, Mike, it's a, it was a great football game with two tremendous schools. I know that George is one of the best coaches in the country. I'd hope that we've got a good staff and do a great job, too. Uh, only two state schools in the College Football Association graduate over 70%, and I think everybody got their money's worth today. You know, you've been trying to build the confidence of this team. It built last week when you scored 62 points, but today to take on the ninth-ranked team in the country and to beat them, your team has to be back now. Well, it had to answer a lot of questions. We kind of got a slow start, so uh, our guys think they're 3-0 and because they haven't counted those first two games, Mike. And the biggest thing for us is now we have to go back to work because Georgia Tech's a good football team, and we're young enough that we played up and down early. We've got to play this way every week. What was the big key that you saw in Carolina's win today? Well, I thought that uh, we haven't played very well against Virginia on the road. The last time we won was here. We respect Virginia so much. Our guys just came out and wanted to do all they could do to help win this football game. Congratulations. Going enjoy the win. Thank you, Mike. Mac Brown, he's happy, as you can tell. 22 to 17. His Tar Heels are winners. A lot of excitement down here, Jack. North Carolina with an emotional 22 to 17 win over Virginia. We'll go down to Atlanta next week at 12 o'clock kickoff here on the ACC Football Network. We hope you'll join us for that one. Jefferson Pilot Sports Production staff outfitted by Lee Apparel, the brand that fits. You've been watching Jefferson Pilot Sports exclusive coverage of Atlantic Coast Conference football. For Doc Walker, Jack Horgan, so long from Chapel Hill.